Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we're looking into Virgo's general love message for the upcoming week. Now if you find the message is helpful, if it's resonating for you, please give it a thumbs up. Also guys, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome here and it does help to set intentions for future messages. So let's dive in, Virgo. Let's see what's coming in for you in love for this week. Most important message here for Virgo spirit. What do my Virgo friends need to know? What do they need to see through this upcoming energy? Please and thank you. Queen of Cups, Page of Swords. Definitely an energy here of planning. With the Page of Pentacles, the Page of Swords energy. This is like being strategic, trying to perceive into the future. For some of you, this could be a messenger trying to come in, but the Page of Pentacles is about money. Page of Swords, ideas. Okay, so we're going to see how this plays out. There's a message that's coming in, and this isn't going to be for everybody, but there's a need for somebody to open up emotionally to a person in their life. So the energy surrounding you at this time, Virgo is the Seven of Cups, the Three of Cups, the Death Energy. The challenge here is the Star the Hermit, the Ace of Swords, and the outcome here, Ten of Swords, Four of Swords, Three of Swords. And these cards are going to be your advice guidance moving forward. We will pull those over at the end. So Virgo, the Seven of Cups, the Three of Cups, the Death Energy. And we're going to clarify as we go through, but this is like mourning a loss. This is you, something has recently come to an end and you're still kind of processing this. Moving forward, leaning into your support system, there may even be a person that you are currently connecting with. But I do feel like you're still processing this ending. So let's clarify the Seven of Cups, the Three of Cups, the Death energy. With that death energy, there is a very significant lesson that you're meant to learn through this process. So no rush. Take your time here. But make sure you're getting clear on what lesson specifically. And even if that was like ignoring your intuition and pushing forward anyway. It's not a good thing. It's not a bad thing that you're mourning a loss. It's just simply a thing. The only reason why I bring that up, guys, is because I honestly feel like awareness is the key. So if we bring awareness to what we're going through or what we're processing, if we shed light on that, it will help us to move through that energy a lot quicker. The challenge is your healing. And through this process, there are some things in your life that you thought you wanted for your future that you're realizing were only because of this person and those things are going to fall away and there's going to be other things that you and this person had envisioned on doing together and you're still going to want to do those things it's just going to be with another person getting clear on what those things are is going to be the key I also feel like there is an energy of but this was my soulmate but this was my twin flame this moon and the sun energy and it's keeping you tied to this connection what I will say <clears throat> by keeping yourself in this energy it's forcing you into this betrayal 
So there's going to be some information that's going to come out. There's going to be something that's going to be revealed. It's going to make you feel betrayed through this process. So this can be looked at one of two ways. The lesson is learned. Everything is complete. The cycle is complete. It's time to move forward and integrate the lesson. Or you can look at this like, this is my soulmate. This is my twin flame. And I have to wait for this person. If you stay in that energy of this is my soulmate and I need to wait for this person. There's going to be a lot of time alone, but I feel here, Virgo, something's going to be revealed. It's going to make you feel betrayed through this process. So let's clarify. Ten of swords, four of swords, three of swords, some confusion, some uncertainty, definitely an energy of loss here with this particular person. Five of pentacles because they choose somebody else. And not that the other person is a better candidate. Maybe they're forced into that choice for whatever reason. Heck, maybe they get someone pregnant. I don't know. Who am I to say? So let's pull over your advice guidance moving forward. Again, guys, if you find the messages helpful, if it's resonating for you, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Again, everyone's welcome here. It does help to set intentions for future messages. It helps you to get notified when I upload more videos. Two of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Lovers. Okay. Focus on what you want for your future. And everything will line up with that. There's going to be new opportunities, new experiences that are coming towards you at this time. So be open to that. If you feel, here's the thing. Here's what I will say. In, especially in America, we are ingrained and indoctrined that the fairy tale ideal relationship is meeting the person, being swept off our feet, getting married and running away together. Happily ever after. But through that process, there's like butterflies in your stomach and heart palpitations. What I feel like people don't understand is those feelings <clears throat> that are coming up through that process are actually our body's warning signs that this isn't the right person. In fact, we should be leaning into those connections that feel stable, that feel secure, that feel solid. That feels safe. Nine of Pentacles. The person that you're walking away from was definitely a karmic connection. Accepting that will help you to move forward. There is going to be somebody, and I feel like this is going to be within this summer, within the next two to three months. You're going to meet this person if you haven't already, and this person is going to sweep you off of your feet. But ground yourself through that energy so you don't rush this process. Because you don't want to go through... A repeat of the past cycle. Your soul journey message coming out for your reading, Virgo, is worry. I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. Worry is a wasted emotion. It does nothing other than give you the illusion of control. When you expend too much energy worrying, it limits you and has an adverse effect on the natural energy of your soul. Worrying destroys the hope, faith, and excitement that are wonderful elements of this schoolroom called Earth. Remember that you are what you think, and you have the power to create positive out thoughts that beg it positive outcomes. Worry is a negative emotion that sets you up for a negative result. What unnecessary worry are you carrying around with you now? Examine this objectively in the light of love. Help your soul by releasing this. Be fully connected to the current moment, which is where your power resides. Virgo, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out. This is definitely for a person who is going through some sort of breakup, a loss within your relationship, and, and what's done is done. 
if you keep focusing on this, if you keep trying and trying and trying again, you are going to get your heart broke. If you instead take that energy and focus on new things that are coming into your life, creating new experiences and new friendships. If you focus on the new things coming in, the new experiences will come in. Again, this person, they're intentionally trying to hurt you now. You need to be aware of this, okay? Don't bite. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. I hope the message was helpful and I look forward to reading your cards again soon. Namaste. Hey friends. So I just wanted to come on and again, thank you for all the love and the support on all of the platforms that I post all of this information on. I started a Patreon and OnlyFans for those of you that want to support the channel to help to spread the information, um, to help my travels when I'm going to different events to connect a little bit deeper on a more personal level with you guys. And so instead of just asking for donations, I thought I would put together a Patreon and an OnlyFans. And on those platforms, I'm posting sound baths and guided meditations. And every once in a while, I'm posting stuff about yoga, yoga positions, and I'm going to also record some yoga videos for you guys to be able to tap into. So if that's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. Again, it's Patreon and OnlyFans. Both of those platforms have a lot of similar content, but they're also going to have some different content as well. Follow whichever ever platform fills in alignment with what you need for your healing journey and don't be afraid to disconnect guys the purpose of this channel is for you to get the tools and the information that you need to heal and to move forward in a more positive direction the channel isn't meant for you to be here forever because i feel like once you heal you hopefully can tap into the healing modalities when you need um, and messages when you need, um, but, but not to be here for forever. So again, thank you guys again for all the love and support, for liking, for subscribing, for sharing the content. You guys are all freaking amazing. And I look forward to connecting with your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.